Hey, it's Paul Ingram with Collie Center, and I'm getting some great empty hands training in today, working my empty hands, my kicking, just kind of really focusing on my body, getting some good tempering training in. And I figured I would like to share with you what I believe are the top 10 strikes of the empty hands in Kali, in Filipino martial arts. Now these are the striking techniques. These are not all of the different angles that these techniques can come from. We have to look at how can we use our limbs, our body, in different ways to strike our opponent. Every fight, every situation calls for a different type of response. So out of these 10 techniques, you have great techniques that you get to choose to perform from your arsenal in any given situation or altercation. Now Kali is a weapon system. So the empty hands are based from the weapons. The first group of five striking techniques come from the thrusts. And the second group of five striking techniques come from the cuts or the slashes. Let's go ahead and demonstrate all 10 of what I believe are the top 10 Kali empty hand strikes with my man Bob over here. Our first empty hand striking technique, this is the thrusting elbow. We bring the elbow up and we thrust it straight into our opponent. This can go directly into the face. This can go into the throat, neck. This can go all the way into the plexus. If the opponent was to throw a punch, right, you can do your deflections or what, and then spear elbow or thrusting elbow directly into the shoulder to stop any further type of attacks. Very, very direct, very, very painful. All right, so first technique is our thrusting elbow. So work it out on both sides, right hand and left hand. Top 10 empty hand striking technique number two is the punch. From here, we can punch straight out. Now you can work all your different kind of boxing punches and all that. Like I said, you can use these skills in many different ways, but these are the types of strikes. And that second one is the punch. You can go with the horizontal fist or more kind of Kali-esque, we like to use the vertical fist. Obviously you can punch to the face, you can punch to the body. Later on you can even punch to the limbs, looking to cause destruction to the limbs. But that is the second technique, the punch. Third empty hand striking technique from Kali, or the Pangamut, or Panantukin, or Suntukin, a lot of different terminologies for the empty hands in Filipino martial arts. But this is the blade hand. This is where we have the hand open, and we can either strike with the blade edge of the hand, kind of like that good old judo chop, karate chop, or you can strike with the palm. All right, so this is what covers the palm strikes right here. So again, we can strike right here. Open hand strike right here or with that rear hand. Again, this can go right to the eyes, right to the face. It can even go right into the neck, kind of region of the body right there. Number three the blade hand. Number four is a little bit of a controversial one. Some people like it, some people don't, but it's a way to strike our opponent, and that is the spear hand, which is right here, where you're using the fingertips and you're aiming directly for the eyes. Now you could also aim this right into the throat as well. You can have the palm up, you can have the palm down. Now this is all about the principles, the fingers, in the eyes. So this also, if we're in a corto type of engagement or maybe we're grappling, this would be the eye gouges with the thumbs. But we're just looking at the striking with the fingers, which is our spear hand. Technique number four of our top 10 Kali empty hand strikes. Striking technique number five is our grab or claw hand. From here, the hand is open and we can literally claw and grab the face or claw and grab the neck. Later on, this can claw and grab some limbs if we needed to. This also will go into the pinching. So if I'm here, I can start to pinch my opponent as well. Very, very painful when you have the uh, Kali pinching technique. That's a great little Dumog uh, secret there. But you can work on your grabbing hands right here. Sometimes the thumb might get in the eye as well, or you can hit, grab, and rip their ear off but we have the claw or the grab for technique number five. So that first set of five, you're gonna notice, goes straight in, piercing, just like the thrusts of the bolo or the thrusts of the knives. 
The second group come off of the slash or the cutting angles on the bolo and on the knives, on the edge weapons. I'm gonna go ahead and switch stances. Make sure you're working everything with the right lead and also with the left lead. Very important that we can do all techniques from any structure. But we have number one, which is our slap right here. So again, this also kind of takes care of striking with the palm of the hand, but you have that kind of thrusting, right? But we also have the slashing right here, right here, right here. And you can also work with the other side. Some people like the open hand strikes because there's less risk of injuring your hands or breaking your hands. Like when you're striking with your fists, you, know, you might risk breaking the bones, the small bones in your hands and in your wrists, which then would make it a lot more difficult, if not impossible, to operate weaponry. Say if you had to deploy a weapon, a field expedient weapon, right, broken hands make it very hard to do that. But that's why some people prefer the open hand strikes deliver a lot of power and little, you know, less risk of injury to yourself. So that is the sixth strike of my top 10, which is the slaps. Strike number seven, I love this one. This is the hammer fist, striking with the bottom of our fist. Just like the slap, the only difference now is that it's just the closed hand variation. One, two, one, two. You can strike this on the forehand, you can strike this on the backhand as well. Okay, so this is very fast and they're great for kind of coming down over the shield, over the guard of our opponent. Right there, number seven the hammer fist. Number eight is our forearm hacking, where we use the outside forearm bone, the all in the bone right here. So from here, we can strike with the forearm, striking with the forearm. So this can be done on a forehand type of strike. This can also be done on the backhand type of strike. Now you can strike right to the head, like right across the temple, eye, ear, or right into the jaw or you can strike directly to the neck. And this can cause a knockout. It's very, very powerful and kind of deceiving looking, right? Sometimes these forearm strikes, they don't always look like they deliver a lot of power and heat to them, but they absolutely do when you're using this bigger bone in the body. <clears throat> Technique number nine of my top 10 empty hand strikes is the inside forearm strike. So from here, almost like the hook punch, but we're gonna use the inside of the form right here. Okay, this is really good, especially when we uh, have that good angle on the opponent. We can strike them right into the uh, bridge of the nose, right into the eyes. We can strike them right into the neck. If you wanna be a little bit more nice, of course you can go across the body, or you can come back around right to the neck or back of the head. So it's a good kind of extended kind of hooking type of strike. And that's our inside form strikes. One and two right there. Last but not least, top 10 strike number 10 is our cutting elbow. And this is where we use the elbow for more of a cutting type of techniques. All right, number one, we use it as a thrusting, and here we're using it as a cutting technique. Now this can come downward, which is really kind of Kali's favorite. This can come horizontal. This can also come upward. So you can use your cutting elbows in a lot of different ways but we have the cutting elbows. Like I said, this is the top 10 types of strikes, and there's a lot of different ways to use these strikes. But of course, now we have our cutting elbows. These can go right to the face. They could even go to the neck. They, you could even drop it down, breaking the collarbone. You can strike them to the body, maybe cracking one of the, the lower ribs. And you can even use these as destructions if the opponent starts throwing punches you can start using your elbows to destroy the punches. I always get someone that's like, oh, you gotta use timing, you can't time something out like that. You have to train. You actually have to get your ass to class and you have to do the training and that's how you get the skill. But there's a secret to the uh, elbow destructions. If you ever wanna know it, come see me or join my online school or maybe I'll do a future video on that on how to actually get your elbow destructions to work every single time. But that's number 10, your cutting elbows. These top 10 striking techniques, they're not in any specific order. One does not you know, outweigh another one. One's not better than another one. 
They're just the different ways that we can use our limbs for striking. In the art of Kali, in Filipino martial arts, the empty hand fighting skills is broken down into three segments. We have the striking, which is with our arms, our hands, our forearms, all that. We have the dumog, which is the grappling, and then we have the uh, sakaran, which is the kicking. So it's always good to mix up your training, have all these different tools in your arsenal, because you never know where you're gonna be in you know, a situation or in the flow of things, and the art has to be able to just flow. So work them all out, have fun with them, experiment with them. Maybe you'll have a couple that you like more than the others. That's totally fine, everybody's different, and maybe that's another reason why all these systems have all this different type of variety. Give this video a thumbs up if you like the empty hands of Kali of Filipino martial arts. Leave me a comment below, are you a closed fist type of striker or an open hand type of striker? Or are you kind of bouncing back and forth? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Add this video to your favorites so you can always come back and make sure you didn't miss any of these uh, 10 striking techniques as you're training them. And join me over at KaliCenter.com. Check out my online school to further your Kali training with me. And I'll catch you back here next time for some more Kali training. Hmm.